Hello YouTube viewers and random Robot Wars fans. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Panic Attack Pit Stop Kit. And here it is in its box still. Uh, firstly, take a look at the box. It is just a normal four-sided or six-sided box cube. Uh, as you can see on this side, it has all the various parts of the Panic Attack Pit Stop Kit. Uh, weirdly enough, it does have a Hypnodisc base that actually does come with it. You may think it's a bit of a printing error, but this is the actual base that it does come with. Um, take a look at the back now as well. It just uh, tells you different other robots in the range. And uh, on the other side, the other machine that does come with it in the first pit stop kit, which was Hypnodisc, and all the other different p features it does come with. Uh, in the range, there was also another two. I think it was Matilda and uh, Sergeant Bash, but I'm not too sure. But uh, in the first range, this was the... These were the first two toys to come out. I did originally have a Hypnodisc, but I think there's something wrong, like something was broken in the packet when I opened it, so I took it back and swapped it out for a panic attack. So uh, that's all of it in its box, so let's open it up and take a look at it out of its box. Actually, one second before I do, just to show you like the top of it, for example, as well, and uh, spinning it around the underneath. I really, I actually love the design of this box. I love the design of all the boxes uh, from the Robot Wars range, but especially ones with like the, the grungy hazard tape and like the bits of sh uh, scarred metal and stuff on it. Contains real metal. Uh, really lovely design of a box, but enough about it. Let's crack it open and take a look at the toy itself. Okay, and here it is, out of its box. As you can see, if you look at the panic attack behind it, it is somewhat bigger. So just uh, pick it up and take a look. Look, look see there. It is quite bigger. It's not the same uh, type of scale as it would be to, for example, the tornado pullback and the actual tornado remote control toy, but it is quite large and is essentially just like the tornado remote control, a bigger version of the smaller pullback panic attack toy. We're taking a look at it here. It does work quite similarly to the panic attack pullback. For example, the weapon works quite similar. Pull that little red tab back to lift the claws up again and down again. Uh, it is a lot more detailed than the Panic Attack pullback, as you can see on the rear here. There's more detail to the little hinge on the lid across the front, and the eyes are red, whereas in the other one they are just black triangular shapes. Uh, the whole deal with this toy is that it's a pit stop kit, which means you can actually build it yourself. So if you take a look at the underside here, you can see it is the Hypnodisc underside, as you can tell by the wheels. but. Uh, it is all bolted on, you can see that's real metal. Uh, you actually get these little tools with it as well, which means that you can actually take off the uh, bolts and bolt on different pieces of material. Uh, it did initially come with other little parts, but I've either burned them or set them on fire. But as you can see here, the side panels snap off, and therefore you can actually see the checker plated armament of the Hypnodisc toy. And that's the uh, Hypnodisc front wheel as well, if you can see there. Uh, in its place, you can snap on these other pieces of armament, which are these little brown side spikes here, which you can snap on into place. Let me just see if I can take a look here, like that. And pretty much you can end up with something that looks like this. As you can see, it's uh, now got its four sides on, with the little metal spikes at the side. Initially, there were different top parts, as I said. There was an interchangeable part at the front here, uh, which you bolted on, which was a giant axe that came down, and the back part did have a flamethrower. Like I say, lost it or set it on fire, but otherwise pretty awesome. And there's also a little front sc uh, scoop or shovel here, which was interchangeable with the front forks. And uh, other little uh, tools that came with it included screwdrivers and other little wrenches, which are quite awesome. All made from metal, so nice little touch, and uh, rather cool. The few problems I do have with this toy is that its scale is pretty much bigger from any of the other pullback toys you see here. Like I say, it is actually pullback. It has a pullback motor in it, which is quite, kind of similar to Mr. Psycho's in a sense that it is quite powerful and would need to be to push actual metal around and still surprisingly works, which is quite cool. But uh, apart from that, the size is massive. The claws don't work as smoothly. As the uh, the pullback toy does, uh, they're quite sort of firm and there's a lot of resistance when you pull them up. Like I say, they are bolted on at the front with actual metal, which is pretty cool. Uh, another thing I have as well is this big crack that you can see down here. I don't know if you can really see it, but uh, you can tell where the join is of the armament, which is annoying. Um, 
Apart from that though, it's really cool. The side plates can come off quite easily. It's kind of annoying that they didn't have an option to make the entire machine out of metal instead of just this back part here. This uh, back side is metallic, the rest of it is plastic. Would have been cool if it was all metal. Um, and uh, like I say, if you could have bolted the side plates on, that would have been pretty awesome too. All in all, pretty sweet toy though. Uh, I really wish I'd uh, got the Hypno Disc one while I still could, or the Matilda one, or even the Sergeant Bash one, because all the parts, like I say, those little parts over there were interchangeable, so you could have put those onto the Hypno Disc, whatever, made a really awesome robot yourself. But all in all, pretty sweet toy, uh, one of my favourites. Hopefully, you liked that review. If you did, there are countless more online of the different Robot Wars toys in the background here, including the other uh, Panic Attack and Dan Tom Kia, Pizzit Cat, Stinger. Razor, Chaos 2, loads of other ones. So, thanks very much for watching my review, and I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks, bye.